and welcome to this week or tonight's version edition of Nikki Notes. With me this evening, I have three huge guys. Okay, now no, that's the wrong thing to say because uh, you know, <laughs> I know, but you know. <laughs> legendary. Okay, can't say that as well. Um, so I've got three guys with me this evening, and we are going to be speaking ultra. SA 2018, which is happening tomorrow at Cape Town Stadium, um, starting at 12, if I'm not mistaken, or 1, but um, be there whenever you'd like to be there, most likely 10 o'clock in the morning, so you can skip the queue. Um, the three guys I was referring to would be Keezy, Little Wonder, Orcs God, <laughs> and that? can't not say this, this word and like say like everything that you can think of using for a compliment. Azul. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me this evening guys. You. Um, you guys are all performing on the Bridges for Music stage. Yes. Yeah. Um, I'm going to start off with you yeah. because this is your debut. Yeah. Um. And I know you to be an MC, I know you to be a presenter, but DJ is not something I've ever come across up until the, the outer announcement. How did that come about? Uh, no, um, DJ is something I wanted to do. Actually, right when I started, um, you know, MC and stuff, but uh, I decided to just put it on hold. Um, it's funny because my lecturer is actually DJ <laughs> 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 I, I, went to, I, went, I, I went to Scratch Lab uh, last year. Uh, I did the full course to learn how to DJ. Um, and I, I've been playing uh, for the last, I think, mean, four or five months. Um, but quietly, you know, uh, playing quietly. And um, the, ultra, the Ultra gig, I got a phone call. The Ultra gig came through. They were like, do you think you can handle it? And I said, you know, I'm not one to turn down work. I'd rather, I'd rather flop in front of everybody than not try at all. So, Let's not push yeah. that upon tomorrow, right? No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> we believe in greatness. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then you initially, as we spoke yeah. before the set, was scheduled for an earlier set, but yeah. now you're paying... Playing, playing um, from 8 o'clock. I'm playing uh, 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock is my time. Um, yeah, man. If, you, if, you, if, if you've been to gigs where I'm hosting or, you know, I might be playing, I'm just going to do what I, the, the easiest thing that comes to me, and that's trying to make sure everybody has a good time. So you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not going to stress myself. You're not going to get too much. You're going to get crazy. And KZ at his best, hopefully, and we'll try and deliver a good time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then from KZ to teacher, <laughs> um, you, uh, there's so many things that you could possibly speak of, but at the same time, it's as if there is so much of you out there that I wouldn't know where to start. So, I'm going to take it way back. So, um, you are Cape Town born. Yes. You are the master when it comes to Cape Town hip hop scene. I'm Not talking like. Way, but <laughs> <laughs> no, really. And then we have Humble, Humble. mixed in there soon. It's soon too. <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting tongue tied. Okay, yes, I do. Because, like, literally now, look, look where yeah, I am. Right? <laughs> Um, when I had to write down like what I wanted to ask each person, like yeah. I had nothing for you. Like if you look at the all you see under your name is legend. And I'm like, okay. Like I found out, I think only after Googling you, I found out your real name is Ricardo. Yes. And I'm like, so Ricardo Azul. <laughs> uh, wait, how? <laughs> um, so my, my journey in hip hop started in 84. Um, wow! It's actually weird. Um, it's actually my dad introduced me to hip hop. We were watching television, and as we all know, it was state of emergency apartheid. So there was various hip hop images that filtered through television, SABC, which was a state owned uh, television station at the time. And I used to see, see on a weekly basis these images of guys spinning on the head, a guy behind 
a turntable which we had at the house because my father was a record collector. And these guys talking over beats. I couldn't make sense of what this was, you know. And only probably, I would say, four years after that, I would find out that Cape Town actually had a hip hop scene since 1982, you know. And it's, there was this big event that happened um, out in Mitchell's Plain on the Cape Flats, where these guys were battling, they were uh, break dancing against each other. And I was like, whoa, this is like, I want to be, this is what I want to do, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and I nav navigated myself through, I started out as a dancer myself, I tried a bit of rapping. Sucked at it, <laughs> um, but ultimately it was the the DJ thing that um, I gravitated towards because um, you know seeing a guy stand behind a turntable and moving the record back and forth and making this weird sound. It's this weird sound that you can't describe, but it's like an infectious sound, like you know. Um, and that is um, what I latched onto. Um, and yeah, fast forward. Um, later, late 80s, um, a guy, a friend of mine just gave me the name Azul, which is basically my favorite color blue. There's no mm. philosophical explanation for the name. It's my favorite blue. color blue. So that's with me. Thank God I'm wearing blue today. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, on this, e, like, you are playing an early set, you are setting the crowd up yes. basically for yes. our young legends of yes. in the making greatness. Yes. <laughs> um, what can people expect from you? I think I, I was going through my mind uh, like last night and the night before, like I was going to break this epic mashup set and I was just going to, like, I was just like, you know what, I'm just going to chill. And I'm just gonna do me. I'm I'm gonna play music because I love music. Mm -hmm. So it will obviously be uh, the theme will be hip hop. Yes. Um, but you'll get a bit of classic stuff in there as well. Cause mixed up with the old stuff, mixed with the new, something for everyone. Cause from all the times that I've seen you play, like you never set the same tone. Like, there's always something different. Hence me asking, like, yeah. what can people expect? Yeah. Because if you say, oh no, I'm going to do love vibes. <laughs> it's like, okay. <laughs> but uh, that doesn't go. Yeah. No, no, it depends. I think for all of us, it kind of depends on the people. And, and you know, it, uh, I think for me, always I feel of what, what vibe the people, uh, what, what they are into, you know. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's gonna be it's gonna be stupid of me to go in there that time with a heavy trap set, mm. and I know this man is finishing finishing it off. It's, it's yeah. not gonna make sense. There's such a lot of music that we can present, and we can, with technology, of course, we can present this music in in, 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 a, in a different way, you know, in an yeah. appealing way, you know, and educate the crowd in the same time as well. Mm -hmm. Which moves me on to Ox God over here. Um, your style of hip hop is not hip hop per se, but as per your bio, it is infused with trap. Yeah. So, hip hop, trap, you don't necessarily put the two together, yet somehow you've managed to put the two together, and I've experienced one of your sets as well, and you draw a crowd when you do play your way of hip hop. Yeah. So, uh, how wanna know, how, how? Oh. I don't know, man. I think, <laughs> I think, I think, like with with what the the legend. I'll say the legend because, yes. like, I Go think ahead. these are the guys that inspired me into actually playing hip hop because I used to be a deep house DJ. Like a lot of people don't know, like I played deep house since two thousand and six, and and you know, like struggling to get into this industry, you know. And I've I always used to move with another deep house DJ, and I, I was just like, okay, you know, I'm not getting my shine, and. But one of the clubs in town approached me and they were like, yo, we're not looking for a house DJ, but we're looking for a hip-hop DJ. And I was just like, okay, you know what, I'm going to do this because this is what I actually want to do. Um, obviously with an inspiration from these guys and Ready D, I used to be like, yo, these guys are scratching, these guys. And I still want to learn how to scratch. <laughs> but um, I think my type of music that I play is mostly... Um, for the young crowd, like mostly for the poppy crowd, because those are the people that actually go out for a good time. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, the old people that love hip hop actually go out to have a drink and chill. Mm -hmm. 
And I can play that music, um, but I feel like I'm a turnout DJ. And okay. when you see Ox God, hence the name Ox God. And that's where the name Ox God originated from. I know you were going to ask me Elaborate. about that. Elaborate. Um, <laughs> used to, we used to do uh, some club, I, I won't mention names, okay. but there used to be a Sunday event that we used to do. And with me playing the hip hop, everybody just like, yo, Lid Navon, you the Ox God. And the managing team that I had at the time were like, you know, a lot of people, even on Channel O, were saying Linda, they were saying Leitner, they, didn't, they couldn't pronounce because it's mm -hmm. L-Y-D-N-A. Yeah. They couldn't pronounce the name, so like you, the easiest and memorable and name that people actually call you is Ox God. Yes. And I had to switch and I was like, okay, you know what? This is my time, I'm going to switch. And I remember on Twitter, people were like, you're crazy dude. Mm -hmm. But I knew with people calling me that and me being a turn-up DJ and wanting to do that, it's going to work. Mm -hmm. And it's been working for about two years now. Definitely, because like when I read Ox God, I'm thinking, hmm, play on Ox, play yeah. on God. Yeah. We have some blasphemy yes. going on big, here. Big, 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 big headed to you. Fine. Yeah. It's fine, we will bless you with that. Day, you know? <laughs> yeah, it was, it, was, it was a challenge at the beginning because people were saying, you're calling yourself a God, you know what that means? Mm -hmm. It means every time you play, you've got to turn up. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I have those nights where I'm just like, I'm tired. But because people expect that from me, I always, I'm, I'm, I'm ready, I'm gameplay, let's do it, let's, let's have fun. Yeah. Yeah. Because even the way you um, come onto stage, you have, I know, this is from my perception, it's like you are focused. Yeah. It's like, nobody, touch me now, let me get onto the decks, and yeah. then you do your thing, and then, whoo, turn up for everybody. And then, um, from the three of you, I'd like to know, um, what are your thoughts on Ultra? Like, what does it present and mean and like for you? Specifically you, because like this is your first. So it's like having, you've only been DJing, DJing, wah, wah, <laughs> DJing for four or five months, as you say. Yeah. Um, it's your first time on the Ultra stage. Yeah. You are going to you know, blow people away. Yeah, I think, I think, I'm just, maybe let me just correct this. I've been DJing for about four or five months. Yes. But I've been around music, um, in, in, on stages with DJs for years. And that alone has probably been, been one of the biggest lessons because when you experience all the different DJs out there, you know it works, you know it doesn't. Yes. Yeah. You know, yeah. You, I can, in fact, I've MC gigs where DJs come to me and they say, what direction mm. or yeah. will this work? And I'm like, no. <laughs> yes, you know, but um, but what it, what it really does mean for for me, and I think what it means for a lot of the musicians here in Cape Town is that we can hold our own. You know, um, big events like this, and to be quite frank, Ultra doesn't need a KEZ. Ultra doesn't need yes. an Oxcard. It doesn't yes. need an Azu. Yes. It has its 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 own pull. But when you introduce the the angle of local musicians, I think you talk to the heart of the city. Yeah. You know, you you talk to the kid that you know. For me, listens to Good Hope FM. You talk to the kid that uh, follows Beat Bangers Radio. You talk to the kid that loves Ox God, and, and when they see yeah. that name, so you're connecting. You're connecting with a, a completely different group of people. And more than that, there are kids out there who are going to see us DJing and believe that you know what? Maybe one day I can be there. Yeah. And that's the biggest victory yeah. of, of, yeah. of it all. You know. Yeah. Because I was going to say, it's like, a, from my side, it's like a lot of people that are starting out DJ and they say, oh no, I want to get to the big stage. Yes. Mm. I mean, l is considered the big stage. Yeah. So it's like, to see, to hear you say, listen, so I've been around music all, like, a couple of years, I've learned how to DJ because that is something that you wanted to do, and now it's like, I've been DJing and I've come across this opportunity. I mean, for someone that's a youngster starting out, yeah. I mean, for them it's like, well, if, not to say really downgrade you anyway, mm. but like, if Kaizi can do it, so then no, why sure. no, it's not Obviously there's assholes behind it. Yeah. It's, it's, not, it's, it's, it's not downgrading, that's exactly, exactly what it's about. Yeah. That's exactly the objective. Yes. Um, that's exactly, I, I don't think, I think if you're in entertainment in South Africa and you're not looking at Trevor Noah and saying, I could do that one exactly. day, then you, you, you're, not, you don't, you're not believing in yourself at that level. That's the whole objective of us getting on these stages. Is because at the end of the day, in five years' time, there's going to be a kid who's like, yo, man, 
I can tell you now, I've watched that so for years. Yeah. <laughs> I'm that kid, actually. Yeah. I, I have watched him for years. I've watched him for years. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? And it's like, yo, man, I, we actually met up, I think, uh, Tuesday. Mm. And, and um, he had a great set of jizz. like, yo, you fired, dude. <laughs> and I'm like, this MC guy, he's, he's playing, he's, he's, he's said he's killer. Mm. But that's the thing, like, I was about to say the same thing, that I have a lot of young kids. If I post on Facebook and I'm like, I'm playing at Ultra, they're like, wow, congratulations. Some of them are like, yo, how can I get to the stage where you're at? Mm. And it's, it's, for me, it's simple. If you want it, you get it. Yes. And if you want to do it, you get it. And, that's, and that's, that's the conversation or the look that I always have, that fierce look, like I don't fear any stage. I, I want to be in those uh, big stages. I mentioned, um, I know I did something wrong, but I mentioned my Rocking the Daisies journey from Rocking the Daisies to Ultra to We, we Love Summer. Yeah. And I'm just like, those are big stages that I used to dream about and be like, yeah. I want to go play at, at Snap. One day we used to have the club snap. Like I, I just want to play in a club, but that I, I didn't realize how small that box is. Yeah. Yes. But right now I'm playing on stages with four thousand, ten thousand people, and I'm just like, wow, I can do more than this. You know what I mean? So for a young kid who's out there and is watching me, I feel great for me to be that message. That's why I always share that I've been playing deep house, and I know there's kids out there who start off with house, mm. but you can do it if you want if, with deep house as well. You can be in the city playing deep house and still be the greatest deep house DJ if that's what you yeah. want. Yeah. Just to wrap up what they said. Just what they said. I mean, like, just to latch on to what Kaiza was saying about the, the ultra being a, an opportunity for, for, for Cape Town DJs and South African DJs for that matter, mm. you know? I think it's, um, it's definitely, uh, like the guys were saying, inspires the youth out there and guys people that's that's following you you know um i'm sitting here and i'm thinking back about i think about five years ago i was in miami and uh, i played at the miami music conference and we actually that was the same week as the ultra music festival mm -hmm. and like we couldn't go mm. and like in my subconscious i was like uh, i'll probably play there someday yeah mm. so I'm, like, I'm sitting here i'm like Conversation with myself that time. Yeah. And I'm actually playing the time. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. that's kind of it's kind of weird, you know. So anything like the gentleman said, um, anything is possible, man. You just have, have to you have to work hard. And then and did nobody tell you that it's not possible because yeah. it is, man. Awesome, amazing. I'm inspired, but not to be a DJ. <laughs> 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 I'm not technically gifted that way. Lived up to the good people. <laughs> for those tuning in, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, we are discussing Ultra, which is happening tomorrow evening. Tomorrow evening, tomorrow, um, 8th of December, Cape Town, 9th of December in Joburg. Um, there are still tickets available. Um, you can purchase them via the Ultra website. So the guy behind the scene was shaking his head because at first I know for a fact he's going to tell me also oh, somebody didn't do their homework. But I did do that. I did. I did. I did. <laughs> <laughs> 19K, 19K, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, yes, today's the 8th. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I saw it. <laughs> so this is the part of going live. You see that it is. And then it's the 9th in Cape Town. It's the 10th in Joburg. If, if you are out here judging her, this is not easy. Don't judge her. No. <laughs> You come do it then. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Kate. You man, it's my bed. <laughs> so, yes, this is the 9th in Cape Town. Tomorrow, today is the 8th. Tomorrow is the 9th. It's the 9th. Tomorrow is Friday. It is tomorrow. Cape Town Stadium, um, general access, if I'm not mistaken, is 700 Rand. VIP, 1,250 Rand. And you can get them on the Ultra website. There is some link that's going to take you there. Get it? You do not want to miss these guys who will be on the bridges for music. Music. I was gonna say gala again. Music. <laughs> <laughs> there is two other stages as well, which is the ultra main stage, and then there's the resistance stage, which is going to be more house focused, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so the bridges for go bridges for music, music stage is more hip hop focused. Yeah. Um, and also promoting and um, introducing a lot of the Cape Town yes. um, talent, which I really appreciate. 
Um, and then we have the resistance stage, which is for your house. That's where you'll find, um, which I only discovered now, um, is Euphonic has a different name that is under. Timber. Timber. Yes. Yeah, that's it. That's, that's, really that's his real name. That's his first name. That's his real name. Yeah, that's his first name. Is he rebranding? I don't know. I saw the Timber thing, I was mm. but maybe. You never know. Hey, man. <laughs> Do you, Euphonic? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. yeah. Where you'll find the likes of Timber, who is also Euphonic. Um, and Black Coffee. I know Black Coffee's real name, so I can't tell you what, what, what they are. And then you have the main stage, which gives you the likes of Carnage, Hardwell. I'm, I'm the champion. No, I, I'm, I'm thinking, did, is Hardwell on there? But yes, he's there. Yeah. He's there. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then Armin van Buren and Axwell. Yeah. There we but go. If you love love the British for music is where it's going down. Yes, yeah, stay in it, stay in it, stay with us. Stay with us. Keep it young. Keep, keep it young. Keep it keep it just young. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> so, and if you don't want to miss these guys, the times are six o'clock. Yes. You will find us all. Eight o'clock. Nine. 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 And ten. You nine o'clock. No, Did ten. You go back it was a reshuffle. It was a reshuffle. It's a reshuffle. Yeah. I'm on a ten, the last set of yeah. <laughs> When everybody has played everything. <laughs> <laughs> so yes. I think I'm gonna play. Nah, bro, that's, that's 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 a precious. Nah, I don't think you'll have any problems. Uh, you won't have any problems. I, I mean, you play you play up to me. I'm yeah. just like yeah. you know. Hey man, I'm Oxcard, scored, eh? Hey! <laughs> hey! <laughs> hey! <laughs> hey! <laughs> hey! <laughs> okay. A shout out to Kay from DJ Fly. Yo, um, what up, DJ and Fly? And then also to Ricardo Nunes, aka DJ Azul and Ox God, yeah. but spelled G O D. Oh, respect the man above, eh? Respect the man above. G A W D. Who is um, DJ Fly also sending respect and good luck at Altro. And then thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you so much, man. Shout out, out Fly, well. bro. Um, and then there's like something else that I wanted to do with all of y'all that I did not include in the script whatsoever. How much time do we have to do this? We've got time, yes. So, um, between the three of you, um, I'm not quite sure how long you guys know one another. Years and years and years and years and years. Are you I'm sure? I've known him for years and years and years. I've known him for years and years and years. Yeah, we, uh, <laughs> yeah, years and years, yeah. But not personally. Not personally, yeah. I've known him personally that, years and years. years. <laughs> Sorry. But I've been trying to get close though. <laughs> I remember um, I, I, we played at Fiction and it was it was old school versus new school. New school huh? That's where we did the first time. Yes, the very first time and I was like, yo, you know what? This this moment man. You know you know that feeling when you're just like, wow, here's the guy I've been looking up to for so many years. Let me show him what I'm gonna do. I was there I was like and I got there and this man killed it. <laughs> I'm out of Scott, but yeah, yeah. yeah, but this guy, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, like you know, there has been that relationship, but it's it's on stage yeah. kind of relationship, which I'm quite sure after today, because we we got more intimate. For sure. Yeah. After today, I'm gonna go. I I, I want to learn how to scratch, because yeah. I'm not comfortable with where I'm at. I play good, but I want to scratch as well. This is so awesome. Like that you guys. So thank you. High five to you. <laughs> <laughs> Did you, did you, did you learn how to scratch? Yo, bro, I can even tell you the different scratch techniques. I can tell you the, the exercises. So why aren't you putting it into your set? Um, partly because um, I'm still trying to get the basics right, yeah. which is my ear yeah. and the training. Mm. Yeah. I think scratching is something that you can incorporate into your set when... I'll tell you something. I've seen Grandmaster DJ Ready D DJ with no headphones. Yep. Do it. Yeah. Yeah. Do you hear that? Dude. No headphones. Dude. So, what, 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 what Azul uh, from Scratch Lab has really like, stuck into us is get the basics wow. right because the basics will carry you through. Yeah. And then with time, because I have been practicing on how to scratch, yeah. and I, and I, but I can see the difficulty in it because you need to be completely okay with the one deck doing whatever yeah. it's yeah. doing. You know? So, we're going to get into it. Like, yeah. Can I just add something though, KZ? Um, you don't need to. It's an added, it's an added skill, right? It's like DJing is like a plate of food, right? Yeah. 
and like scratching and all the other things that you do, it's just extra spices. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. But I think for, for hip hop DJs as well, because hip hop is an ever evolving art form, yeah. right? It's all about skills, mm. right? From mm. MCing to DJing to breakdancing, you know, to graffiti art or whatever. It's, it's all about elevating yourself, you know? And uh, with you having the intent to do that, you know, only means that you're going to be in the day much more longer. Because mm -hmm. that's the thing about DJing. Mm -hmm. There's always new things coming out. Yeah. There's always things to learn. Whether it's yeah. music, whether it's new techniques, whether it's whatever. There's always, every day there's something new yeah. to learn, you know what I mean? So, just be patient with yourself. It's yeah, no, 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 no. I'm in no rush. I, I trust me, I've, I've heard, I've heard this is one irritating sound when DJs are scratching. I've heard, I know the legends that can scratch. And there's these DJs that, it just creates an irritating yeah. sound while you're yes, playing. Exactly. And there's vocal in another song yes. and you're busy doing the... <sighs> and it's not even the ch 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 it's the goof, 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 goof. You can hear the beat is here, the vocal is here on another yeah. song. There's so many elements in one yeah. thing. It's a skill. Yeah, so you know what I mean? It's a serious skill and when it's done wrong... Hence I'm saying, I know I play well, but I need to go learn that. That's the one thing I need to go learn. That's the spice you the need spice. to use. Then you can be ox god on the scratch. Aha! Uh -huh. I want 15%! <laughs> I want 15%! I want 15%! I want 15%. Listen, I want 15%. You're getting 30, you're getting 30. 30. <laughs> Oh, oh God, on the scratch. Okay, so we that conversation just took my whole game out of it. <laughs> so tomorrow evening we have tomorrow evening why tomorrow day starting at twelve could be one. Um, just you know go over to the Ultra just to confirm Ultra website sorry to confirm. Um, we have Ultra is a happening. Oh, Ultra SA Music Festival happening in Cape Town tomorrow, the 9th of February. She and then right. in Joburg, <laughs> in Joburg, the 10th of February, there is still tickets available. Um, the last I saw, which was before the show, there's general access for 700 Rand, there is um, VIP for 1250 Rand, and these guys will be found on the Digis for Music stage, which is where you should keep it planted. This is where our local guys is at. This is where you need to be. This is where you're gonna get your booty moving. Like it's yeah. your biggest business. And then we also have our resistance stage and our main stage happening. Um, where all the bigger names will be found. However, these are the biggest names you need to be at the Bridges for Music stage. Be there. Dance it off. Sweat it off. Apparently we chased the cold front away. Could you tell me it's going to be supposed to rain, right? On I was supposed to, but it's not happening anymore. Oh, oh. No, that's cool. Great. Well, awesome. I know we need the water. I'm not saying that. <laughs> <laughs> I know we need the water. But well, we need to party too. <laughs> but we need to, you know, forget about the stresses in our life. No, because that was like the major stress. It's like, oh, it's raining on Friday, it's raining. And then today we were like, oh no, apparently the cold front has been pushed away. I'm like, that's ultra for you. Yeah. That's ultra. Blessings. I don't need <laughs> to change my outfit anymore. Ha. I can Flick my hair like it's nobody's business. <laughs> so you're staying at the bridges uh, for music stage, right? Yeah. The whole night, right? Not the turn, whole night. Turn, uh, turn, turn, turn up stage. Turn up stage. You gotta be there. From five o'clock. I'm playing at ten, dude. You gotta be there. So? From five. Oh, yeah? So? Nice. She's gonna be there. <laughs> and then I must eat somewhere in between, so you might not find me there. You might be in food stalls. <laughs> But don't worry, I'll be back. <laughs> once I've eaten. <laughs> Thank you everybody for tuning in once again. This was Nicky Nuts with Kaizi, Oaks God and the legend Azul speaking ultra. Spot y'all next week. Thank you. Oh,